morning and welcome to day three of our prayer and fasting. My name is Esther Ice and I'm from Our Savior's Church here in Crowley. Today's theme is depending on God. I want to read you a scripture from Zechariah 4 verse 6 out of the NIV. So he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. A different translation puts that last part like this. So don't depend on your own power or strength, but on my spirit. This verse is probably one of the most challenging yet encouraging scriptures in the Bible. Now, Zerubbabel was one of Israelites, Israel's leaders who returned from Babylon in exile. He brought with him thousands of Jews and they were coming back home with the order to rebuild the temple. They returned with high hopes and expectations, but they weren't prepared for the utter devastation that they're going to face when they got back home. Faced with mountains of rubble and the hostility of the bordering enemies and the magnitude of the whole situation, the, the not the situation, <laughs> the task, they quickly lost heart and decided to rather focus on their own houses and rebuild their own houses. And I know we can somewhat, uh, you know, understand what they were going through of what we went through last year. So instead of building the temple, they started building their own houses. It's at this time that the prophet Zechariah got a vision from God for uh, Zerubbabel. He saw beside the menorah lampstands, that are the lampstands that gave light in the temple. He saw olive trees on each side of them that were connected by pipes. And so that the lambs got their oil straight from the olive trees. And when asked if he understood this vision, he said, no, Lord. And this is where our scripture comes to play. That's when God said, not by might, nor by, my, by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. So what God is saying is depend on me to do the impossible. Do not calculate what can or cannot happen based on the standard of your own strength and ability. Instead, depend on God and remember that the impossible is possible with Him. So the basis of this all, the foundation is that we have to depend on God and not on our own abilities or strength. We have to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. In this week, our focus is, or is to turn our focus back to God. It, it so easily happens that we, we shift our focus. Sometimes it happens without us even knowing. So this is the time of us just refocusing and putting our focus back on God. I'm not saying we should be ignorant and close our eyes as we go through life. You shouldn't ignore what's happening around you, but you must make sure that your focus is on the right place and that you're not putting your, 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 your focus on your ability to change things and to fix things. We have to rely on God and what He can do. So at this time, I want us to pray together. Just take, we just have to take a moment and ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to show you where you have changed your focus and where you have put your trust in your own ability and your own, just in yourself. So let's take a moment, close your eyes and let's ask the Holy Spirit to show us where we have shifted our focus and in what area we need to just put our trust back on God and what He can do. If you're filled with the Holy Spirit, just pray in tongues for a little bit. If not, just pray in English. Let's just pray together. Holy Spirit, just show us. Show us where we have shifted our focus. Show us where we have started to rely on ourselves and not on you. God, we want to be people who focuses on you and not ourselves. We rely on you. We depend on you. We do not take this lightly, Father God. Let's just pray together and just ask God to forgive us and just um, repent of, you know, where we've put our focus um, on ourselves and where we've started to rely on ourselves. Pray with me. God, forgive us of all the times 
where we have forced our own plans and our own will onto our lives. Change us to be people who can lie everything at your feet. God, pray, with, pray this personally. God, I'm sorry for depending on myself and my ability to go through life. Forgive me for trusting on myself and not trusting in you and in your spirit. I repent of having the wrong focus. I put my focus back on you, God. Thank you, Lord, that there's freedom in you. Thank you that there's grace in you and there's forgiveness in you. And today we choose to come back to you and start depending on you again for our lives, for our country, for impossible situations. And pray with me. Do this declaration with me. God, I choose to trust you, to depend on you in every area, every situation in my life. God, I choose to do it your way. All that I have is yours and belongs to you. You are what I need and you are the one I desire. I am your child. I live by the spirit. I do not walk in the flesh. Thank you that I am under your protection. Thank you that you are my security. You are my rock and my refuge. Thank you for loving me. Amen. Take a moment today. Write those things down. Repent of them. Tell God that you are sorry. Put your focus back on Him. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.